Hey everybody, welcome to Whistle Thicket. It is almost Halloween. Hopefully I'll post this before Halloween. Um, I am going to shut my hives down for the winter, basically. I'm going to winterize them. Um, second year as a beekeeper, I'm doing things differently this year. Um, I did get a small honey harvest of about 25 pounds or so. So not really enough to sell, sell but you know, enough for my family and enough to give away, maybe barter with. Um, last year I lost both of my hives. I lost one of my hives to mites and it was devastating. I actually looked it up, I lost my hive, my first hive last year about seven days from now, about a week from today. Um, and then my second hive lasted until March, but it was getting smaller and smaller, very rainy year that year. And I could tell inside the hive was actually wet. And part of that was from all of the rain, I think. And part of that was how bees stay warm in the winter. They vibrate their muscles to stay warm. They draw in cold air from the hive entrance. And basically it creates a mini weather system. And what happens is that the water vapor goes to the top of the hive where it's warmer um, and then it cools um, and it condensates on the top of the hive and then it drips down. And that moisture is what I think killed my bees. They got smaller and smaller and it was, it, it was wet inside the hive. So I lost both of my hives last year. Um, I have not been in my hives in about three weeks but they seem to be doing well. I put out um, uh, two to one bee syrup this year. Just two days ago, they were enjoying that. Um, so now I'm gonna open up the hives. This is what I'm going to be doing. Um, I'm going to be putting some bee candy on, which I made um, pretty easily. Four pounds of sugar less than half a cup of water and a cap full of vinegar um, and that made my bee cakes for the winter um, so I'm I'm trying that this year there's other ingredients people like to mix in I even built my own um, feeding shim for about three bucks doesn't look all that pretty as far as the paint job but you know I'm not all that pretty either but at least I'm charming um, what else am I doing I'm also using quilt boxes this year these are pretty easy to make. There's lots of different designs on the internet. I am just doing the simple way. These are window screens and I have um, shavings. These are just like hamster shavings you can get at most uh, stores. Um, I still need to fill them up more. Um, the theory behind these is that these are going to um, absorb a lot of the moisture and when the moisture condensates on the top of the hive, it's going to drip down into this instead of my bees, hopefully. So I'm excited to try quilt boxes. Um, I think people maybe in northern latitudes use these more than where I'm at. I'm in North Carolina, but I'm in the mountains, about 3,000 feet. So we do get some weather up here for sure. We get some decent snowstorms, some cold temperatures. Um, so that's what I'm doing differently. I'm doing quilt boxes this year and I have my bee candy. So I'm gonna open up the hive. I'm going to look for signs of the queen. She may still be laying a little bit just because it's been a warm season, but I, it's okay if I don't see any eggs right now. Um, it's starting to be the period where the hive basically goes broodless, but if I see some queen activity, that's great. I'm gonna look for the queen. Sometimes it's hard to show the queen on a bee video um the queen needs to be protected i don't want to lose my queen i don't want her to fall on the ground get stepped on something like that but if i see the queen and i can show you on this video i'm going to um so let's open up the hives i haven't opened them up in about three weeks and uh see what they look like um, i'm excited and hopeful that i have lots of honey still and the bees look happy and hopefully ready for winter so let's crack open a hive
Be food, be candy. Second hive. Wow. Good hive, good hive. Old Formic Pro. The queen. I found the queen. Let's see if I can find the queen. I saw her. She's here. So it is getting dark. Um, my first hive, hive A, looked okay. I've got about 10 frames of bees. Um, I didn't see the queen or any brood, but that's okay. This time of year, they're starting to shut down brood production. Um, I didn't want to push it. It's getting late. It's getting dark. Um, it's almost 7.30. Hive B over here, um, doing awesome. Probably 16 frames of bees. Found the queen. Um, I don't know if you could see the excitement translating in the video. Um, I don't know if I got the queen in any footage. I saw her. It's very difficult. Like I said, you're filming a video. You see the queen. You're trying to move the camera. Um, but this hive looks great. Um, I think I've done a better job this year as a beekeeper as opposed to my first year. I at least know what I'm doing somewhat, right? Um, I feel beekeeping is one of those things you can always learn something new. Worst kind of beekeeper is someone who thinks they know it all because nobody does. So if you hear somebody saying they know how to do everything with beekeeping, they probably haven't learned much. Um, you should always try to figure out how to become a better beekeeper. Um, at least that's what I think. So this is how I want to rise my bees. Um, they got candy. They got the quilt box. Um, I treated them for mites earlier. Things are looking good. So I'm happy right now. We'll see what happens. Now they're in survival mode. Can they make it to March? If they can make it to March, then maybe I can split my hives. Maybe I can expand my apiary. I'd like to maybe have four or five hives next year. That's my hope. That's my goal. I'd love to catch some swarm traps or, or some swarms from, from swarm traps. So, uh, if, if you enjoy these videos, again, I'm a newer beekeeper, but I'm learning a lot and I'm really appreciating the subscribers and the comments. So uh, stay tuned and uh, even though it's winter, there's still gonna be some beekeeping videos coming at you. Till next time, keep on beekeeping.